Hey, this is Baby here with my dog Ruby. She's being a pout, pout face. Aren't you, Baby? Because she gets jealous when I play video games. And she's having an anxiety attack because I'm cooking for the first time ever in, since I got to this house using my oven. It's been months, by the way. And I cook so rarely that she's having an anxiety attack because she doesn't know what's going on. She does the same thing when I start sweeping. <laughs> I so rarely like do, I'm really tidy. I'm a very clean person, but the deep cleaning, like um, getting under the counters and stuff, I don't usually do. And so when I do, she's like, what the fuck is happening? Because that's not our routine. <laughs> that's how gross I am. So anyway, we're back at it with Love is Strange, my best friend. We're going to party together. We're going to take some photographs. We're going to bond in a gay way. That's how I know what we have is real. Well, that's if I win. It's not even up for debate. You'll blow it out of the water. Like an otter. We're interrupted by mixed dog trailing back to the front of the classroom and clearing their throats. They have a throat? All right, all right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I've got to get into today, today's lecture. If you haven't picked a partner yet, then be sure to do you do before class lets out. Um, I settle back into my seat as the lesson begins and I can barely focus. All I can think about is the contest. When class lets out, it feels like hours later and I leap out of my seat. Chloe takes her time getting up, reaching to scratch herself under her arm. Ugh, I think my buzz is already wearing off. It's school's fault. I mean, it doesn't generally last super long anyway. Nothing's ever your fault. Not at all. Um, that's my Chloe. <laughs> So, this contest thing, you gonna help me see another A-plus for the first time in, like, four years, right? Um, Chloe, it's a contest, not an assignment. Right, we split the million dollars. <laughs> I'm not so sure we're gonna be winning a million, million dollars. We split the, what, half mil, quarter, ten grand? Chloe, winning is its own reward. Jesus, calm down there, Pollyanna. Like, <laughs> you'd be happy just to see Max happy, don't lie. We can decide what to do with our prize after you win. I'm pretty sure there is no prize, and that would be us winning, not just me. As you say, I'm just here for the victory train, remember? Well, right, also probably look really good on a um, resume or a, a if you wanted to go into artwork, or it could look good on a college application. Um, more like the gravy train. <laughs> Gravy. Um, Chloe clutches her stomach dramatically. I already know what to say. Maybe we can go to the two wheels tomorrow morning. Genius, Max, if I can hold off on my cravings for that long. Can you believe Joyce still won't do takeout? <laughs> well, actually, yes, I completely believe that. Well, that's what I was always concerned about with Joyce. Is she's the house cook, and then she also cooks all day for work, and I'm just like, whoops. Um... Let her live, like, st I don't know. Um, well, I'm going to go blaze my way through math, math class, literally, behind the bleachers, because I'm not going to math class. Classic. Um, my voice is dry, which Chloe picks up on, but it doesn't seem to bother her. I'll text you later. I'll be waiting for it. Okay, so she cuffs me on the shoulder, and then she grabs her bag and goes to sneak off to her smoke-out spot. That was a little bit difficult. Going While well, I go to Mix Dog's desk to give them our names for the registration sheet. I'm glad I asked my best friend to be my partner for the contest. Chloe is no photographer, but if it's about bonds, then we've got this on lock. Fuck yeah. Power of friendship, I hope. We got this shit. We got it. Oh, it's Tuesday. Um, Let me check our journal first thing. Yep, there's two new stuff. Oh, there's one new stuff. It's a photo contest. I should have known. I think I'm the only one that was surprised and totally unprepared. You have to sign up in pairs, and I have to pick a partner today because the deadline is Friday. Friday! Friday, Friday. Um, needless to say, I'm sweating at my desk. I don't know who I should ask. Maybe I should play it safe, or maybe high risk equals high reward. IDK, but I have to decide like right now, as in close my journal and decide now. I asked Chloe because there's no such thing as picking wrong when it means picking my best friend. With her on my side, the contest going to be a blue breeze. Of course, she had to have her chance at teasing me first, but that's a small toll to pay. Besides, I know she's totally into the idea of helping. We'll be meeting at the two wells first thing tomorrow morning to plot. All right, and here we are to do it. The breakfast rush at the two wells diner always takes me by surprise, even though I've been coming here since I was a kid. 
The atmosphere is always electric. The frantic energy of the bustling staff. The impatient hungry truckers perched at the lunch counter like hulking churlish birds on a wire. The sleepy locals slumped in their booths over steaming mugs of coffee. I thought it felt much more, um, calm and homey than that. I've been here nursing my own coffee for ten minutes now. This morning I woke up to a text Chloe sent at 2 a.m. asking me to meet her at the diner at 8 sharp for breakfast. She's late, of course. Yeah, no shit. Why would you ever believe she'd be at some place at 8 a.m.? I should probably be more annoyed than this, but I'm kind of used to it. Chloe tries, but she's never been able to keep a schedule. It's kind of a miracle she manages to make it to her classes on time, most days. I suppose this means I should be more worried about asking Chloe, of all people, to help me with my entry for the photo contest. But Chloe's never let me down when I've needed her. Not ever. And she's not starting today. I can't help the smile that spreads across my face when Chloe enters the diner. She scans the room, um, panting a little, looking disheveled. What'd you do? Um, when her eyes light on mine, her face breaks out into a grin of its own, and she makes a beeline towards our booth. Yay! I'm sorry I'm late. You should be. Fired. She slides into the booth with effortless cool. Um, you mad? No! No, we weren't, like, from the inner monologue, we weren't mad. Also, I'm not mad, so no. Um, I laugh, shaking my head and taking a sip of my coffee. This is actually pretty punctual for you. I'm impressed. She's visibly relieved. Well, good. She slumps back into the booth, um, and knocking her foot against mine beneath the table. I know, not bad, right? Um, sh she's, like, there's been three sentences of her grinning. We got it. She grins like we're kids again, like we're sharing a secret. Even though I've been back in Arcadia Bay for a year now, there's something about being on the receiving end of her smiles again that still kind of, kind of takes my breath away. Aw, that's cute. I can tell I'm staring at her with much... Blech, hold on. I can tell I'm staring at her with what must be the dopiest look on my face, but I can't help it. Deliberately, I drag my eyes from her face and scan the diner. Um, you hungry? God, yes. She cranes her neck dramatically, looking around the diner. Where is Joyce anyway? I'm going to die of starvation before she even takes my order. Then she'll be childless and you'll be partnerless and my sad, hungry ghost will be forever bound to the two whales. My favorite date is breakfast food. Always. It makes me so happy. <laughs> breakfast food or ice cream, even though I'm lactose intolerant. I'll just take a lactate. It's fine. Curse to haunt the greasy truckers and painfully slow wait staff for eternity. Not so fast, Casper. <laughs> <laughs> I kick her beneath the table and continue despite the interruption. Joyce should be out with your food any minute. Um, it's like flipping a switch. Chloe's face lights up, the previous conversation immediately stricken from her memory. Um, she seizes my hand in hers and drags them across the table. Max, you've been my best friend since we were kids. My first mate, my partner in crime. And now the girl who buys me breakfast. <laughs> I'm ready to take the next step. Max, will you do me the great honor of marrying me and buying me food for the rest of our lives? Yes. <laughs> I will do so. She's been doing this more and more lately. Saying things that could just be joking, but could also be, well, flirting. Yeah, I remember that. I just can't figure out if Chloe's being deliberately confusing, or if I'm such a colossal social dunce that I can't tell the difference. I had that issue, too. Um... <laughs> Basically, you just need to accept that, like, if it seems like flirting, it's probably flirting. But that only applies to girls. To guys, they assume everything is flirting. Um, Chloe waggles her eyebrows, squeezing my hands. Max. Um, I laugh awkwardly, feeling a blush rise on my face, and yank my hands out of her grip. Who says I'm buying? Um, she pouts. You know, I did just offer to spend the rest of my life with you. The least you could do is try to offer to pay for my... <laughs> Wait, what did you get me? Um, oh shit. Um I don't I don't know. I don't know if this has important outcomes either. But she seems like an eggs and bacon person. I know Max is the fan of pancakes. Your favorite bacon side of eggs. Yes, okay, good. We made the right decision. She slams her palms down on the table. Hot damn, now we're talking. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Joyce bustles out of the kitchen and a few minutes later, um, ex expertly balancing the trays loaded with breakfast foods. Just something I'm noticing from a writer's perspective is there's a lot of character does X, comma, 
Xing while doing so. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of like that particular sentence structure, and it's starting to feel a little bit repetitive. But that's just my um, creative ma creative writing minor um, speaking out. So um. <laughs> Chloe smirks mischievously, leaning forward in the booth, no doubt with something cheerfully antagonistic on the top of her tongue, or the tip of her tongue. Toe to tip. Um, but the morning rush is so hectic that Joyce barely has the time to set our plates down in front of us before tearing off across the restaurant to attend the family of five that just filled up the last free booth. Um, Chloe looks briefly disappointed that she lost the opportunity to annoy her mother. <laughs> At least until she remembers there's food in front of her. Yeah, no kidding. Chloe eats with a sort of single-minded ferocity not uncommon in wild dogs. Um, my dog doesn't really care for most stuff except for... She doesn't even know how to play. Like, she won't play tug-of-war or chase a ball or anything. But she is super food-motivated. If you have a treat, she will do anything for it. Um, so that's how we train her. But um, recently, I've noticed that she reacts really excited whenever something clicks. So, like, if I'm using my fingernail clippers she runs over like she thinks she's gonna get something so I think her previous owner may have clicker trained her we don't know who owned her originally so her original records she's a white chihuahua her original records the most recent ones from when she was rescued by a by a um not a shelter but a uh, a rescue organization it says marshmallow and then she got sent to the one I adopted her from and they named her chica and now she's mine and her name is ruby but I don't know what her original name was, and I don't know where her owner was or is or what happened. But she's so well behaved. She was not a stray. Um, I don't believe. She was perfectly house trained, too. Um, so, I don't know. She's just my mystery girl. And now she's going bald. She has alopecia. Ha, huh, Bubba? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> my ugly bald girl. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> she's a good dog. Anyway. Um, she's got about the same level of manners, too, I remember. Thinking of all the times she'd stolen food right off my plate and unconsciously hunching over my meal when she looks up and starts eyeing my waffles. People who get defensive over their food, I understand because I had friends who were food insecure. But, like, people who get, like, weird about, like, sharing french fries and stuff, I'm like, <laughs> come on. Um, I'm, I'm really good about not expecting people to pay me back. I love to feed people anyway, so, like, people borrowing my fries I take as, a, like, a gesture of, like, friendship. But, um, one of my friends, he never, ever got angry, ever. Like, he never raised his voice. One time I took a chip from his plate without asking, and he, like, lost it. <laughs> um, but he had just been having a bad day. It wasn't necessarily a me thing. It was, like, the world's, it was after him thing. Anyway, you gonna finish that? Um... No, let her have some. Um, I roll my eyes, taking one last bite and pushing my plate across the table to her. She perks up eagerly, accepting the extra food. Thanks, Max. <laughs> That's right. You remember this. When I need a favor, I will come calling. So you, I bet you're pretty pumped to, start, uh, to get started on your project, huh? Um, I bite my lip, um, shifting my gaze from Chloe's eager face to the window facing the street. I watch a few cars pass by, trying to gather my thoughts. I guess I'm excited, but... I glance back to Chloe, unable to stop the smile that tugs at the corners of my mouth. Um, she always knows when there's something I'm not saying. But I'm pretty nervous, too. I still can't believe I actually volunteered for the contest. I can? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Um, Chloe says it like it's just a fact. I feel butterflies flutter in my stomach, nervous for a whole other reason now. Confidence has always seemed to come as easy as breathing to Chloe, and I get it. She's tough and beautiful and smarter than she gives herself credit for. That all makes sense. But it's her unwavering confidence in me that I can't wrap my head around sometimes. Max, you're like the best photographer in school. I know sometimes you get all in your head about this shit, but it's really not so complicated. <laughs> of course you're going to kill it here. <laughs> um, oh, there's hesitance? No hesitance, but, um, she's blushing, I guess, looking through the fringe of her blue hair like a kid with her hand in a cookie jar, but I, it was kind of surprising you asked me to help you with the project. What? Yeah, you're my best friend, she shifts, shifts in her seat. Please stop texting me. The food is gone now. She has nothing to distract her, 
that's my oven, from the conversation, so she grabs a packet of sugar from the center of the table, tearing it open and pouring the contents out into shapes on the tabletop. It's not going to stop beeping, so I gotta go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You're the best. Catch you later. Bye.